100 years ago tomorrow, World War I broke out. I'm sure you're aware of that. There's a lot of media coverage about it. And whereas I don't condone or um, you know, celebrate war, I think it's fitting to just give a minute's thought to those who lost their lives in awful conditions, from what I can gather. Um, and, and really, that we are here today because of, of what they did. There's people here in the congregation that have lost family members and loved ones. So we're just going to have a few words and pictures to allow us to reflect with respect on the eve of this commemorative time. Those who sacrificed their lives that the world could be a more peaceful place. I've got two or three quotes I'd like to read to you. Prince Charles said, The centenary commemorations of the start of the First World War are a significant moment for all to, co to pause and remember the appalling sacrifices made by so many. The Archbishop of York, John Centimew, said, We all want to move beyond war and conflict to build communities of reconciliation and peace. We have much to learn as we reflect on the sacrifices made by so many from so many different communities around the Commonwealth. Let us all, individuals, schools, churches and communities, engage with the commemorations in a meaningful way. And the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, said, May God use the church to serve communities as we pause to reflect on the human cost of war borne by a generation a hundred years ago. May the church be prepared to point beyond that pain to the greater healing and love that Jesus has for humanity. May God speak loudly to hearts who long to know his peace and reconciling love. On the eve of World War I, Britain's foreign minister at the time, Edward Grey, said, The lamps are going out all over Europe. We shall not see them lit again in our lifetime. And unusually for David Cameron, I liked what he said, Most of us will have ancestors who fought many from what is now the Commonwealth, and every single one of us is indebted to that generation because their legacy is our liberty. I don't know if you know, but tomorrow night between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m., there's going to be a lights out um, and as a mark of respect. And uh, landmarks like the Houses of Parliament, Tower of London, Sage, Gateshead, all of that, offices, buildings, uh, you know, businesses all around are going to switch their lights off and they're just going to put one candle in the window. So can we just stand for a minute just as a, a, a mark of respect? Thank you, Father God, that so many people, many of them very young, people maybe even known to us personally, sacrificed their lives during this war so that others, people like you and me, can live better lives. May their memory never be forgotten. Amen. Amen. Amen.